everybody, me again. Um, today, I figured I'd talk to you guys about doctors, OBs, midwives, um, things like that. Uh, for me, I would really love to have a midwife this pregnancy, but um, the nearest midwife is pretty far away, um, which is a problem, and they're not going, they're not affiliated. There's like a feather above my head. I'm not crazy. Whew. Anyway, uh, there's, <laughs> they're not affiliated with the hospital that I want to go to. So, um, for the time being, until I can find someone else, or maybe if I can deal with them, I'm just going to go back to my regular OB that I had when I had Dakota. Only problem is um, that these OBs are four women, four or five, um, that you meet throughout the time. And when I signed up for these doctors, um, I was under the impression that having a woman OB was actually a better idea than having a man. No, not the case. I, I swear I think most women OBs have more PMS than, than, uh, just don't get me started. Anyways, um, so I went to these OBs and basically my entire pregnancy was stressed out. It was hell. Um, they're very into a lot of medical intervention. They wanted to induce me at 38 weeks, no, 37 weeks with Dakota. Um, I told them that I wasn't exactly sure when I had gotten pregnant, but they insisted that I was due on October 4th. Well, I told them, I said a hundred times, no, this is not right. And so every time I went in, I was very nervous, so I would have high blood pressure. So they started saying that I had high blood pressure and I needed to be induced. And I said, no, I only have high blood pressure because I'm coming in here. Give me 10 minutes to relax and you can check it again. And sure enough, they did and my blood pressure would go down. Well, so they tried forcing me to induce at 36, 37 weeks. I said, absolutely not. I think it was like 37 weeks. Um, and I ended up holding off until the 42-week mark, according to them. I had Dakota um, October 19th. So he was two weeks over his supposed due date. Um, and I held off until he was that old. And of course, by then, the doctors had said, well, that's it. You have to be induced. You just, you have to. Um, they t did an ultrasound and they told me that my baby was going to be over 10 pounds and that he had absolutely no fluid um, and we needed to be induced the very next morning or he was going to die. These are his, her exact words, this woman. So I'm under complete stress so I let her strip my membranes hoping that that will induce labor without having to go into half pitocin because I am completely against most drugs. Um, so, well all drugs in general. Um, so sure enough, I finally went into labor that night, um, which is amazing and I'm very thankful for without having to have Pitocin. Um, and I had my child, he was born 7 pounds, 1.6 ounces, with plenty of fluid. So you can see why I'm a little scared to go back to these people. I think that they just don't know what they're doing. Um, I wanted to hold off or, yes baby? Koi wants to say hi. Get up on the, on the toilet, okay? This is the only place where I can have quiet, apparently, in the bathroom. I can't pick you up. Alright, here it is. Say hi. hi. Right there. Right there? No, 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 right here. Okay, say hi to the wall. Hi, everybody. Mommy's getting pregnant. <laughs> Mommy's getting pregnant. I Mommy's pregnant. And he got chemistry so he can have a baby and so that makes her have a baby and she plays it. Yay! And he has two lines. I have two lines on my test strips. That's true. Are you yeah. excited? Yeah. What do you want to have? A sister. You want to have a sister? Aww. Or the or boy. Oh, you'll be happy with a boy too? No. <laughs> Okay, well, if we have a brother, we're not going to show him this video. <laughs> Silly. Brother. A brother. No, I don't want to. He's a not good. He's not a good look I didn't want that boy. You don't I want to. I wanted this girl. Okay, well, we'll see. But you know what? I think I'd be happy with another little boy. Because look at how cute you turned out. You're adorable. <laughs> okay, get down. i got to finish the video. Alright, so anyways, um, 
Yeah, basically with a lot of medical, medical intervention, um, a lot of, I like to be a little bit more natural in my pregnancy. Um, a lot more natural. Um, I'm a vegetarian, I eat really healthy, um, and I just felt really stressed out with these people. I really didn't feel like they were educated enough to know um, that a woman knows her body more than anybody else. And I know that doctors, you know, try to help us, but I really didn't feel like I was being helped so much as being forced into things. So, um, in the meantime, I'm going to try to look for another doctor. Anyways, thoughts. Um, should I do my appointment for my 38 weeks? 38, 38 weeks? What's wrong with me? Pregnancy brain already? <laughs> Eight weeks. Yeah. yeah. Are you calling me silly? No. Okay. Um, my eight weeks. So I'm going to do that, I think. Um, and, yeah, I'm just really excited. I can't wait. Um, what, are you, what are your stories on your doctors, and did you like the ones that you had? Um, have you ever had a midwife, and what is the difference between a midwife and an OB? I mean, I know the basics, and I definitely would rather have a midwife, but I can't at this point until I can find one. Um, and, yeah, let me know about your experiences, and... Um, what do you feel your rights are as a mother to say yes and no to certain things? Um, I felt really kind of bullied until I learned that I had a lot of rights to say no to a lot of things. So this time around, I'm definitely not going to be so much poked and prodded and, you know, stressed out. And I've noticed I can't breathe much. What is the point of that? The baby's only like this big, right? Um, yeah, so I'll talk to you guys later. And yeah, so... Happy pregnancy, everybody! Bye!